As she said, my name is Susan Lowry. I'm with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Um, we appreciate the opportunity to participate in this Lunch and Learn series with TSU. I'm just going to provide a brief overview of our agency, and um, I'll be followed by uh, Ms. Cavazos, who will provide um, job opportunities within our agency, and also she'll, she'll um, talk about the process of how to apply for a position with CBP or with other federal agencies. Um, I'm going to begin with a short video. And give me a moment, I'm gonna to try to share my screen. It's not playing the audio, Susan. Oh, and you don't hear audio? Yeah, she's paused it. I'm not sure why the audio isn't. Do I need to hit mute on my end, perhaps? Live there is no sound. I'm not sure why there's no sound. Um. Hey, Susan, I'm sorry. Try going to your settings. At the very bottom, there's an option for my audio, and it says computer phone call oh, always ask me. Hit computer audio and see if that helps. Okay. Let me... I don't know if it'll help, but try to see. I move my photo out of it. Sorry about this, guys. Let's see. Um, I don't see anything for audio. I just see microphone, camera, and speaker. So, luckily. Do you hear anything? Yes. Well, I heard it for a moment and then we went away. Okay.
I apologize for that, the audio. Um, so I guess most of you got you couldn't hear the video for most of the while it played, right? Okay. I'm going to share something else now. Okay, I'm going to uh, discuss a little bit about our agency. Can you hear me okay? Yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, thank you so much. Um, as most of you may or may not know, um, our agency, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, began in 2003. Um, but there is a history um, about our agency that dates back to 1789, when the fifth act of the first Congress established the U.S. Customs Service. Um, immigration inspectors carried out their duties uh, beginning in 1891, and the passage of the Plant Quarantine Act in 1912 led to the creation of agriculture inspectors. And then in 1924, Congress established the U.S. Border Patrol as part of the Immigration Bureau. Um, on a March 1, 2003, U.S. Customs and Border Protection was established, becoming the first joint border management agency in the world and the largest federal law enforcement agency in the United States. Um, the agencies I mentioned earlier were combined to form CBP. Um, so, of course, we have the U.S. Customs Service beginning in 1789, Immigration inspectors um, began working in 1891, um, agriculture inspectors in 1912, and U.S. Border Patrol agents in 1924. So I'm just, um, that's a little bit of history there. Uh, you may or may not be interested, but um, I kind of find that fascinating that our, our agency has history, you know, going back to the 1700s. Um, so with this PowerPoint presentation, um, Okay, so U.S. Customs and Border Protection is under the umbrella of the Department of Homeland Security, and there are several other agencies that fall under DHS. Um, they include the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, Citizen and Immigration Services, Transportation Security Administration, TSA. Um, I think most of us have traveled and go to the airport, so um, we've gone through TSA security. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service, the U.S. Coast Guard, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement. And of course, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Um, our mission is to safeguard American borders, protecting the public from dangerous people and materials, all the while um, enabling legitimate trade and travel. We have three branches within CBP, and they are the U.S. Border Patrol, um, Office of Field Operations, which Ms. Cavazos and I fall under, and Air and Marine Operations. The Office of Field Operations, which I mentioned that uh, Ms. Cavazos and I uh, fall under, um, follows the CBP um, mission. Um, it is the largest component of the CBP. There are 20 field offices with 328 ports of entry. Uh, currently, there are over 25,000 CBP officers employed with the agency, and there are over 2,600 agriculture specialists. Another component within CBP is Air and Marine Operations, and just like the title says, um, they secure our borders through air and marine, uh, through the sea. Um, they have 240 aircraft and 300 marine vessels. That, um, that go throughout the U.S., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. As you can see there, their numbers are quite a bit less than um, OFO, and as you'll see with uh, U.S. Border Patrol, but they carry out a very important function with our agency. And this photo just shows some of the, um, the aircraft and the marine vessels that they use. Um, they have 26 different types of aircraft and 12 different types of marine vessels. Um, the U.S. Border Patrol, as I mentioned earlier, was established in 1924. Um, there are 131 Border Patrol stations. They have 20 sectors throughout the U.S., and they have 36 immigration checkpoints. 
Currently, there are over 19,000 Border Patrol agents working for CBP. And this photo just shows, us the, shows the various modes of transportation U.S. Border Patrol agents use. Um, securing the borders, they're on the northern border as well as the southern. A lot of times we don't think about the northern border. So as you can see on the bottom left-hand corner, there are snowmobiles. But, you know, they use bicycles, horses, ATVs, trucks, all kinds of um, different modes of transportation to carry out the mission. Um, the Houston Field Office um, area of responsibility covers a large portion of Texas, uh, going from Corpus Christi, Galveston, Freeport, Port Arthur, um, to the east side of Texas, all the way up through Dallas, Fort Worth, um, San Antonio, Austin, Lubbock, up through the Panhandle, and all of Oklahoma. So um, our office covers, or the Houston Field Office, covers a large portion of a large area. And this is just some of the components within the Houston Field Office. As I mentioned earlier, um, our, our employees work at ports of entry. So that includes airports, international airports, whether it's um, passengers coming in on commercial flights or um, cargo coming in through the air. Um, we also work in the seaports with uh, commercial um, sea um, containers coming in, cargo coming in, and also passengers through the cruise ships. And these are just